In prior presentations, we entered a purchase order. Then we entered a bill. Now we're going to turn around and use that information to create an invoice. Let's take a look at the flowchart real quick. If we look at the purchase order and the bill, that's part of the purchasing process. But the inventory will span from the purchasing process to the customer cycle and we're using a perpetual inventory system therefore we imagine a scenario someone came into the shop they said hey i want this guitar from fender and we're like fender we don't buy guitars from them that would be a new vendor so we set up the new vendor fender made the purchase order and told the purchase order or put on the purchase order that we're buying these guitars, this inventory for a particular customer, not because we need that to populate the purchase order form for Fender, the new vendor, the new vendor Fender doesn't care, but so that we can then use that information to then make an invoice once we get the guitars. So now we've received the, the guitars and we entered a bill. So that's the next step that we have. We still need to pay off the bill but at this point in time, we have the guitars at this point, and we would like to turn around now and create an invoice, the revenue side of things, billing the customer for the guitars that we now have and have purchased. Now, there's a bit of an issue in that when we have a billable item, they don't pull over to the, to the uh, invoice perfectly because they're going to pull over at cost, which is actually a little bit different than the desktop version, which actually pulls over with the the item quite nicely and so i just want to point that out